Welcome to Toy Poloi. Hello and welcome to another video from Toy Poloi. It is Sunday the 26th of March 2023 and I'm back at my favourite toy fair. This is at the Bath and West Showground. It's run by Bulldog Fairs. I always enjoy coming here. There's always lots to see and I always get to meet lots of people who uh, watch the channel. So I'm really looking forward to this one. I don't have a huge amount of sort of I'm looking for at the moment. There's one item I got to pick up from a storeholder who's put it by for me and I'm on the lookout for some bits for some friends. So uh, I'm going to hopefully see some of those because I know uh, Lawrence at Toy Planet UK has a few of the bits that uh, they're after. So I'm going to head to his stall first just to see what's there. Otherwise, I'm just going to have a good rummage around and hopefully find some bits that I need for projects and maybe find the odd thing I don't already have in my collection that I can add to it. So let's go and have a look around.
Okay, so I'm now back in the car and it was a really good fare. Actually, I had a nice time chatting to a lot of the store holders. Met a few people, said hi to some people. So that's always nice to chat toys with other collectors. And I found some good bits. I found a couple of pieces for uh, figures I'm trying to complete. So that's always useful. And I got a couple of other items for my collection. And I got some bits for uh, my friends. So that's always really pleasing. So let's head on back to Toy Ploy and I'll show you what I got. P O Y P O L L O I. Okay, so I am now back at Toy Ploy and I have to say it was a really good toy fair. There were lots of stalls there and a really good mix of toys, you know, some old, some new and all the sorts of stuff that I like. Uh, I do need to say a massive thank you as well to uh, Danny and Kirsty who uh, run Bulldog Fairs, who run that toy fair. I had a really nice chat with them today, so uh, thanks to them as well. It's always a great fair and I really do enjoy going to that one. So uh, yeah, hi to those guys. So here are the first things that I picked up. Now I picked these up for uh, a good friend of mine, Jeremy Tokyo Toy. He asked me to grab him some real Ghostbusters ghosts. So I got these from Lawrence at Toy Planet UK. I picked him up Frankenstein, uh, The Mummy and uh, Gross Granny. Uh, these are fairly sort of common figures here, but I think he has trouble finding them in Japan. So I grabbed these. Uh, these ones, uh, the ones in the boxes were £7 each. So we have uh, Frankenstein, ooh, like that. Pretty cool. Uh, and then we've got, uh, yeah, Gross Granny. Let me just open that up so you can see what she's like. I really like Gross Out Granny or Gross Granny. She's, uh, I think, one of the, my favourite ones. So you sort of twist and pull her head up and she turns into this rather scary ghost like that and you can pop her down again. So that's a pretty cool one. Uh, and then I've got the mummy. I think this mummy needs a little bit of work. He's got a little, little bit of yellowing on the top there. Uh, and when you push his legs together, um, one of his arms pops off. Or it's sort of seen to earlier. There you go. Uh, so I might have to do a little bit of work to that one. But these, anyway, are going to be going to uh, Jeremy as a gift. So I'm glad I managed to find those and uh, thanks again to Lawrence he's always got lots of good stuff I do like dealing with Lawrence he just seems to have the most amazing uh, sort of uh, selection of toys and there's generally something I need to get on his stall and today it was these. Next up is something I'd arranged to pick up at the previous toy fair I'd met Craig and Nanette who run Stay On Target Toys in fact this is their logo uh, I'll put a link to uh, their Instagram and stuff in the description. Um, I bought some things off them at the previous toy fair in fact I bought that little Skeletor badge that I uh, found that was a really cool thing and I'd seen that they'd posted some pictures of other things that they had uh, for sale and that they'd got an eBay page and I was checking out their eBay page and they had a figure that I needed so I I messaged them to say you know could I grab that off you and would you be able to bring it to the toy fair and they very kindly said yes and that figure was this which is uh, Skylar from the Advanced Dungeons and Dragons toy line. Um, I previously actually picked up some of these. I've already got this figure carded but I don't have a loose version and I'm trying to complete my little set of the uh, PVC figures so I grabbed this off them you know as soon as I saw it I said I've got to have that. Um, they're not massively collectible it seems not many people really sort of go after them but this was one that I needed. I've now got one other one that I think I'm missing which is Mercy on and I need to get a better Kellet because uh, my Kellet's got a bit broken off it but yes yeah, Skylar is one that I was uh, really wanting to get so I grabbed that off them that that's fantastic and thanks for them for putting it by and then actually earlier in the morning I'd seen them post a video of uh, their setup at this on their stall and I saw something else that I wanted to grab as soon as I saw it sort of scanned by in the video I thought oh I've got to go and get that hopefully it would still be there by the time I turned up and it was and it was this and that's um, a bag of a broken Prince Adam figure you can see his legs have fallen off uh, but he comes with his waistcoat um, I don't actually have an original waistcoat for uh, my Prince Adam all of the ones I've got are ones that I've made so I thought it would be quite nice to finally have an original waistcoat so uh, although he's as you can see in pieces his legs have come off that waistcoat is original it's a bit damaged there's a little bit of a tear on the back of it but overall that doesn't actually look too bad so I, I wanted this figure really for the waistcoat although I will of course uh, repair him because I never like to see uh, a figure sort of broken and left like that so I bought myself Prince Adam with his waistcoat as well from their stall and then they had one other Masters of the Universe thing that I sort of thought I should grab which is this which is the armour for uh, Stinkor um He's a figure I actually have been trying to complete as well for a little while. In fact, I'll bring in my Stinkor. So there is my Stinkor. He's got the uh, wrong armour on him. I've only got the front part of this armour. It just happened to be what I had in my spares part. And I've got part of his shield. You can see the outer part is correct, but the inner bit is wrong. But they had his armour. So I got that for £5. Oh yeah, Prince Adam was £5 and Skylar was £5. Everything was £5 uh, that I picked up there. So yeah, here is Stinkor's armour. I didn't check to see if the clips were broken or not. It doesn't really matter as long as there's a couple of clips there. Yeah, that looks pretty good condition. So that 
is Stinkor's armour, which means that this figure is another step closer to uh, being complete. So yeah, he's got his armour, he's got his shield, or most of his shield. I just need to find his weapon, but that's great. So I picked those all up from, yeah, Stay on Target Toys. Very pleased with those. And then I've picked up uh, one other thing, which was from uh, Final Frontier Toys, which is uh, run by Julian. He always has lots of rummage pots, and I do like a good rummage pot. And in that, I found this, which is the belt for Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles uh, Raphael. I've got the other three figures pretty much complete and I've sort of picked up a Raphael because you know if you've got three of the Ninja Turtles you need the fourth Ninja Turtle so I picked up Raphael at another toy fair fairly recently uh, but he didn't have his belt so I grabbed this today so this should be the correct belt let's put that on this figure so again he's not complete now but he's one step closer I've got uh, his belt I need to still find his uh, weapons and other accessories but it just looks so much better by the time you've got his belt on it actually looks like the correct figure without that little R on the front and um, he just doesn't look right let me see if I can actually pop that on oh that's a really tight fit I didn't realize quite how tight to fit these uh belts are oh, right, if I get that all lined up maybe that will fit on yeah there we go so there we go my Raphael now again is one step closer to being complete so there we go those are all the pieces I picked up I'm really happy with these uh, sometimes it's just nice finding things to finish off other figures so the belt for Raphael and the armor for Stinkle really pleasing to get those and I'm very happy to uh, get Skylar for my uh, LJN Dungeons and Dragons collection that's a real uh, find that so massive thanks to uh, Stay on Target Toys again I kept an eye out for some of the things I've sort of mentioned in previous videos they're sort of crazy price things the Ram Man for £35 was still on the stall so that Ram Man is I think going to be there forever more and also the uh, Mattel Viper from Battlestar Galactica was still there for £119 so yeah I'm very much doubt those will ever get sold and I will still keep looking out for them at the next toy fair so hopefully you've enjoyed this video if you have then make sure to hit the subscribe button and tap the bell to be notified each time I upload a new video and thanks for watching thanks for watching Toy Ploy subscribe for more great videos you can also follow Toy Ploy on Twitter Facebook and Instagram